no growth, it's stagnant, and yet we've got the inflation. That may be not quite as, as dangerous as we think, because today's figures show there was, what, half a percent increase in growth for May. Yeah, I mean, first of all, the inflation situation, many of the economists that advise the Independent Business Network, for example, believe that it will actually come back down again to around about 5% next year. Next year, yeah. Provided, of course, we don't adopt the policies that Rishi Sunak are proposing, providing that we actually don't increase taxes. So 5%, because it's a supply-side problem, it's uh, actually a global issue following the pandemic that's causing the inflation. Of course, there has been, it has been stimulated by banks printing money as well. Right. And, and indeed, just on, on the latest figures today, when you talk about supply side, i.e. the stuff coming through the system, yeah. we're being told uh, nickel, cobalt, aluminium, steel, paper, fish, cooking oil, all up. Yeah. Uh, and, and this is what is going to come down the system for the months to come, maybe into even next year, pushing that inflation up. Uh, but there will be. Uh, certainly the Ukrainian issue will carry into next year because they haven't been able to do the crops and get out there and, uh, and actually sow them, let alone actually reap them, let alone actually get them out of the country. It's one of the world's food baskets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, that situation means there's going to be more inflation coming through. But the good news is, remember, inflation's calculated monthly. So what went up by 50% or 100% last year, there will be a month this year where that drops off the calculation. So it will start coming down again. Uh, but I agree with John, it'd be around about 5%, not going back to where we were before, which is much, much lower. Right. But we've got this heady mix of politics being involved. And one of the main political issues we've heard on these hustings is tax. What do you do with tax and when? It seems to be at the moment Rishi versus the rest. But it's interesting that he's recalled Margaret Thatcher, spoken of fiscal conservatism and prudence. We haven't heard from her for a long time, have we? But <laughs> well, you know... This is not the era of Margaret Thatcher. It's not 1979. Of course, Rishi's policies could create the 1970s problems. But as it stands at the moment, it's more like post-World War because we're coming out of a pandemic situation. So emergency measures. Emergency measures have been in place. There are supply end problems, as has just been said. Uh, banks are printing money. That's caused inflation. Of course, the government itself has caused a lot of the problems of the cost of living so far by having a mad approach to net zero. They've chosen the most expensive route to net zero. Or well, the green levies. Which so. has created energy right. price increases. All the, all the increases in energy prices that have occurred so far have nothing to do with the Ukraine. They're entirely right. to do with the government's net zero policy.